So I'll say your name and then you come into the shot, okay? So you might have to bend down. pause when I come out. I don't know, can you? <sighs> you know I'm gonna add this, right? This is gonna be part of the intro. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey guys, it's Parker with Lloyd Vlogs. Um, today I'm here with my friend Landon, and today is episode two or day two of trying to turn mealworms into mega profit. <laughs> so without uh, further ado, let's get into the video. Before I get into uh, everything uh, that we're gonna do in this episode, I wanted to uh, give a little update on all of our um, inventory, I guess. So the beetles, we have gotten a ton more beetles. We probably have like seven now, and if you reckon in the last video we only had one. So, let me see, can't really see. But there were a, um, there's now a ton of them. Uh, these guys, pupated a bunch, obviously, if I had some of those. So I have three more right now. Uh, two of them I just got this morning. There are loads of mealworms. I mean, it's really small ones too. So there had to be some more eggs that hatched. I ordered um, 2,000 mealworms uh, so we can turn those into beetles and they lay their own eggs and then I can sell those mealworms because I do not want to sell the mealworms I have. But I have plenty in here. So this, these, this is our baby mealworms that we have right now. They are growing pretty fast. Uh, you can see there's a bunch of uh, shavings um, from them growing up probably in about a month they'll be about the size of most of the ones in there so that pretty much uh, wraps up the update on all of our mealworms i shouldn't be getting those 2,000 mealworms in about what like, like four days so they're coming soon which will be exciting and we'll get those guys set up but talking about enclosures we are going to set up new enclosures for these guys, a new kind of sorting system. Uh, so we already cut the bottom of this and we're gonna put some like um, metal net and uh, the eggs will fall through, the beetles will be in here. And when they mate, the eggs will fall through into a bottom container. But we're gonna also add a uh, toilet paper roll thin and an egg carton thing as well because they'll go up there and there and uh, mate and their eggs will fall through. It gives them a more secure spot to lay eggs and uh, breed. So basically, if you ordered from us, your mealworms would come in a container or something like this, and um, they'd be in uh, like a little three by three box or four by four box, and um, we drilled a couple holes in them, labeled them for 25, we put all the mealworms in here with a couple oats and a little bit of carrot to last them the ride uh, to your place. But they are not available yet, I'm still working on a couple things for shipping and my website, and that'll be next episode. Uh, but this one is just renovating all the mealworm enclosures and uh, kind of showing what you got. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we came up with after uh, about an hour. Um, so we have this like iron mesh. We hot glued the bottom to it, and we actually took two layers because. A quarter of an inch and the oats would have fallen through and maybe some beetles would have fallen through too so we double aligned it except we didn't align the second one so you can see that um it doesn't match up which is what we want and this bottom container will be all the baby uh mealworms and we put this on top the beetles go up here and they'll lay their eggs go down here all right so the first thing we're going to do you're going to put all the baby mealworms into the bottom of the container so pretty self-explanatory all right there's nothing left spread these guys out you can see the bunch of baby ones crawling down which is good you can spread these guys out some we're gonna add a little bit more oats all right just uh just a little bit to uh add to the coating now for the top container we are just going to add some more oats really quick you really don't want that many oats but enough to 
cover the bottom. That should be enough because we still have to add the oats from our beetle enclosure, which we're going to do right now. Pretty easy. All right, let's get this old cardboard out of here along with the old carrot. We're going to feed them more carrots today. But you can see a couple beetles we have in there are chilling, but they're going to be chilling even more in their new crib with these additional items. Um, we're gonna put uh, the egg carton right there, and that right there, and then just crawl up inside and uh, feel more comfortable. And then to top it off, we're just gonna put the lid on. We already drilled some holes on it. It's on tight. Make sure these are aligned. And we're all, up, we're all set for the uh, mealworm breeding. So I'm gonna put down another fine layer of oats. All right, so we got all our mealworms here. Um, you can see they actually drilled a hole through one of the cardboards. Um, they actually have, we actually have some mealworms in here, so I'm gonna include that uh, in the enclosure. I already took out the other carrots. And then we just put all these guys in. You can see that stuff right there is frass, mealworm poop whatever you want to call it. These guys have a nice substrate. You can see the amount that I have really starts to pop. Uh, I probably have, I'm not thinking about like 400 adult ones in this container alone, and probably another 600 to 1,000 mealworms in the baby one. So I have a nice start. Let's put these back in here. All right, I'm also gonna add a couple of things like I did in the uh, beetle enclosure uh, just to give them a little bit of security. You can see the mealworms moving the oats It's pretty cool You hold the camera really still All right, so for the beetles, I'm going to put two uh, Carrots in one bigger one and one smaller one and then they're all fed and so I'm gonna set the um, down over here. And then for the baby mealworms, I'm just gonna put in a bigger one. Uh, they usually find it after a while anyways, so we don't have to worry about it. So these guys are fed, we can move them out of the way. So there are mealworms. We're gonna put our last two carrots in here from this little baggie I have for them. All right, so I'm gonna put one in one corner and one in the other. And that system's pretty much set up. Yeah, so I've been uh, wanting to get this uh, set up done for a while now. Um, uh, ever since I started um, thinking about um, starting a business for these guys, it just, I'm like, oh, I, need, I need to get a new setup because these beetles are laying eggs in a container and I can't separate them very easily because the sifters I have just won't work. Those are our shades we made out of the egg cartons. They're pretty sick. Should we sell those too? Yeah. Should we sell them? Yeah. Um, but like I said, baby mealworms, beetles, and, me and mealworms ready to sell slash pupate. Uh, and then we can put these guys on top. Mm -hmm. And I gotta, good, good, I gotta good, get a good thumbnail here. All right. That is a perfect thumbnail right there, folks. That is going on the cover whenever you see this video up. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, uh, comment something nice. You'll get the comment of the day. That pretty much wraps up today's video. Next video, we'll be setting up the website and our shipping. So I hope you guys enjoyed and uh, see you on the next one.